Hi, I'm Joe Giardulo. I'm a soprano saxophone player, and I make soprano saxophone mouthpieces. And I'm here today because uh, an old friend uh, brought over a couple of new sopranos, new to me, and also new to the marketplace. Uh, I've been spending a good couple of hours investigating both of these horns, and I found some very interesting things, and I think you'd be interested in this. Uh, the saxophones are called GT Sax. They're made in Taiwan. Uh, and there's two different models that we have here today. One is a two-piece uh, with a detachable neck. One comes with, the, comes with the curved neck, I believe, and the straight neck. Uh, and this is it. And it's a silver finish with a, a, a black or a, a dark in, uh, key cups. And it's pretty. Um, Nickel-plated, and this is one of my mouthpieces, and uh, this is what it sounds like. It's got a nice tone. It's, uh, it's not tight. Um, it's more free blowing than my Selma 3. Keywork is, key work is nice. It's not stiff. It's comfortable. Everything's in the right place. Um, beautiful, beautiful tone. And um, interestingly enough, this horn is a little, has a, has a bore that I would compare to any number of the Yamaha ones that I play, especially the intermediate to, to upper level Yamahas I play, it has that feeling to it to me in terms of the way it responds and, and also, uh, I wouldn't call it resistance, but that little bit of push that lets you shape the sound. Once again, this is the nickel finished uh, nickel, two piece. Silver plated. Nickel silver plated. Keys are black nickel. Uh, the keys are black nickel. Thank you. Uh, once again. And that's GT Sax. And that's the silver plated nickel finish soprano. Oh, excuse me, I'll put this down for a second. Because this is the other one. And this is a titanium finish saxophone. Gold keys, single piece, not a removable neck. And when I compared these two horns side by side, interestingly enough, we found out that this titanium horn is slightly shorter, just ever so slightly shorter than the nickel finish, which is slightly shorter than my Selma 3. Now, what does that say? Well, that tells me that the bore is different from this horn to this horn because the shorter horn would have a slightly bigger bore. Now this is, we're talking infinitesimal stuff here, but you, you, you might not see the difference, but I think you'll hear the difference. And while I compared the nickel finished horn to, to possibly the feeling of many of the Yamahas that I played, this is a little different.
hopefully you can hear the difference. I certainly can hear it. This, this titanium bone is very special to me for an, any number of reasons. And I heard it the first five notes I played on it a couple of hours ago. It's got a darker tone overall than the other one I played. A darker tone than my Summer 3. Darker tone than the GT Sachs nickel finish that I played. That's its tendency for a darker tone. And while the silver plated GT Sachs that I, I played uh, just a little while ago related a lot to, this, to the Yamahas that I played in terms of feeling and sound. This one goes someplace else to me. And it really is, I would say, it's, it's close to the Kyle Wirths that I played, as close to the Borgani's that I played, in terms of warmth, in terms of the feel of the bore, in terms of the response. This is quite a special one. <laughs> and I was knocked out the first time I played it. The first five notes I was knocked out and said so. And it doesn't mean it can't have some pop and edge to it. But its tendency is... In addition, the feel of the key work is... This is this is amazing little horn. The, the key work, the feel of it is absolutely perfect for me. Um, it's slick, but it's not. It, 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 it's substantial. The horn is also a shade lighter than any of the horns that I have here today, including the other GT Sax. It feels like it, it. I don't know what the difference is, but I've asked them to find out what the difference in weight is because I think everybody would want to know. This is a light horn. It reminds me of my old King soprano, which was light as a feather. This is close to that. Very comfortable. I can't say enough about this one. This is a beautiful horn. That's what I did today. That's what I did. I, I got to. Uh, find out about two uh, new to the market, new to me, horns uh, that are sourced from Taiwan. Um, you should check them out. Especially this, this titanium horn. This is quite an interesting horn. And I don't know what, what the new top of the line horns go for from some of the big manufacturers, but this one I suspect is a very good a very good value and I would have no trouble going on the road with this ever. I'm Joe Jardulo. My website is Soprano Planet. I make